Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C-Squad. And if you're a retaining subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. Today we're back with another vlog. I literally just got back to Kent from reading week. Basically, we had the week off, so no lectures or seminars. So I went back home to stay with my parents for the week and I just got back. It is Sunday. Yes, I did recreate me walking into my room. It's for the cinema of it all. But that is definitely not how that happened. My dad helped me out because I had so much stuff to carry but i just thought i would do a little reset video with you guys showing you guys how i reset my life after a break so we're just going to be unpacking getting groceries tomorrow doing some planning on my ipad and also my notion so if that sounds like something you're interested in then please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more lifestyle videos and vlogs and without further ado let's get straight into it okay so before i unpack my suitcase i need to put some stuff away in the fridge so i have a whole haul from home you guys know the coffee obsession obviously i had to come back with some coffee for tomorrow morning so we've got two packs of coffee i've got some hash browns i've got some lemon cake this lemon cake is so bomb you guys and some toilet paper Okay, so we're done with unpacking. This might be a little bit crazy, but I did take a photo of my makeup setup before I left. Here's the picture because I just wanted to set it up exactly as it was before, which was a really good idea because I did not remember where anything went. If you like things a certain way before you travel, take a photo of how it was so when you come back, you can recreate it. So now we're going to change my bedding set. My fitted sheet, I actually washed the day before I left. So I'm going to keep that the same, but I'm going to change out the duvet cover and the the pillowcases over there. So So we are going to work on my to-do list now. If you watched my productivity tips video, then you know I like to plan out my weeks in advance, specifically on Sundays. So I'm gonna plan out my week on Notion, and then I'm just gonna do a monthly overview plan on my iPad. I was so productive during reading week. I'm like so happy that I accomplished everything that I wanted to. I submitted an assignment. I did my VLE test that I told you guys about, and I ended up getting 94% for it shout out to me i did my hair i did my hair in that time as well some crochet braid action for you guys i got another assignment completed but the submission page isn't open yet so i have to wait until that's open for me to submit it so yeah i've just been super productive so i hope all the work that i did during reading week is going to help me in the last four weeks of semester two you guys were well, almost there classes are going to be done in four weeks so we're in the home stretch then it's just me some assignments assignments and my dissertation. Anyway, so let's get into my weekly and monthly planning. with my 
planning. I'm feeling super organized. I think we're ready for this upcoming week and the rest of the month. Guys, if you don't know, I just opened my Etsy shop, Digitals by Cheryl, and I've been thinking about the next product launch. Right now, we only have one product, and that is my digital notebooks, but I'm thinking I might want to come out with my digital planning templates. I'd really love to know what you guys are most interested in. Would you guys prefer a monthly planner, a weekly planner, or a daily planner? I think the monthly and daily ones would be really fun because I do have stickers that I use, which you guys saw. I also have stickers that say lectures and seminars, so I think those would be fun because they would come with stickers. The weekly ones, I don't really have stickers for that. So I don't know, but you guys let me know, and depending on which one you guys prefer the most, that might be the next launch. Anyway, so it is now 7.30. I think we had a really good productive last two hours. I'm feeling ready for the upcoming week. I'm just gonna have dinner, and then I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is the afternoon now. I just did a bit of work this morning and I'm gonna head off and go grocery shopping. And I also need to pick up a parcel. I won't lie, I have not been the most productive this morning. I don't know what it is. I just like woke up so tired and I could barely get through my work. But it's okay, we're resetting and we're getting back into the flow of things. Now I've come to terms over you And although it hurts We've got some mozzarella, butter, salt, cream cheese, and a sandwich for lunch. Then I've got some flowers. These are so cute. If you guys watched the last vlog where I got myself flowers from E Florist, I decided that's a bit too expensive for me. So we're gonna stick to some grocery flowers for the foreseeable future. I feel like this is a good way to reset and give my room some nice vibes. So yeah, let's pack these groceries, put these in some water, and I also just wanna like hoop and just really clean the space up. Pretty are these, you guys. I'm still a horrible florist, but I think it looks so pretty, especially from this angle. So we're gonna put them right here so they can look like that on my desk. I've come to terms over you. And although it hurts, there's nothing I would. Okay, so I didn't get the chance to do this yesterday because I was so tired. But what I'm gonna do is iron out the wrinkles of my bedding. I don't have an ironing board, so essentially I just iron my bedding after I put it on. That's what I typically do. That is what we're gonna do today. Okay, it's not perfect, but it looks way better than it did before. While I was away, one of my packages got delivered. These are just some earrings from one of my favorite jewelry companies, Piercing Mania. I have them linked down below. This is where I get all my everyday jewelry from, so my septum ring, earrings. These are just some small ones for my helix piercing up here. I don't know what happens, but I always lose my earrings for my helix. I haven't had earrings in there in such a while because I didn't have any. This hole better not be closed because I don't have the energy to get it re -pierced. You got this. Almost there. I can feel it. Oh my god. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, we're in. So you can see it's like so tiny. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. I think I got this in like a size 3. I should have probably gone for like a 4 or a 5. But I think it's cute for up here. I'm not really trying to like draw too much attention up there. And I just need an earring in there so that it doesn't close. 
Okay, I love that. So yeah, shout out to Piercing Mania. I've got 10% off my next order that expires right before my birthday. So I might buy myself something extra. But that's pretty much it for me and my reset. For the rest of the day, I'm just gonna sit and work like I usually do. Have some dinner, go to sleep at a reasonable hour. Nothing too exciting. But I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the C-Squad. And hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Oh,